Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my February favorites for you guys. It's been so long since I did a favorites video, so I wanted to make sure I did one this month. I have worn this outfit in my in my story time video, but I'm filming it on the same day, hence the same outfit. Oh my god, my intros are getting so awkward. I don't know what's going on. But before I keep blabbering on, let's just get straight into my favorites. The first thing I want to start off with is a product that I have been using, but it is the Sephora Collection Mattifying Moisturizer. This product has definitely become like a holy grail for me. I am in love with it. I actually use this kind of as a primer now instead of actually putting a primer on my cheeks and stuff. Like I still use a primer underneath my eyelids and smile lines and stuff like that just to minim help minimize those areas. But I love using this to keep my skin mattified throughout the day. It really, really, really helps prevent oil kind of coming upon my face throughout the day. That was a really awkward sentence. But it really helps with kind of controlling the oil. There we go. And there's one that's just like a mattifying moisturizer, which is the one I initially tried out before purchasing this one. And I really, really like that one too, but this is an acne fighting mattifying moisturizer. And I don't know if it's this or if it's just because I've been more into skincare recently, but this, I find it's actually kind of starting to help fade away my acne scars and stuff like that. I am in love with this product. Excuse my nails. I really have to get it done. But I'm in love with this product to a point I can't even describe. It's definitely one of my holy grails. I'll definitely be repurchasing this product because I am in love. Next, I have a concealer which has grown to become my favorite concealer. And that is the Allura Mercier Full Coverage Concealer. This concealer, again, is full coverage. And it, like, the littlest bit goes... Whoa. <laughs> and the littlest bit goes such a long, long way. I literally mean it when I say it like I put like the tiniest jaw and just like dab it over here and then just blend and it covers so much of the skin like surface area which I really love about it because when I first purchased it I was like it's running out so fast but I realized I was using way too much because now I've learned to actually properly use it and I've definitely started to fall in love with this concealer I wish I kind of came with like a doe foot applicator like the NARS one just to make it a little bit more easier to apply because I always have to use my fingers or a brush but other than that I am in love again next I have a foundation which again I have fell in love with I have to say the NARS all day luminous foundation I certainly fell in love with like I started to really really love but I realized it was really breaking me out so I had to stop using it but I still have it but like maybe on special occasions when I don't care to break out the next day I can wear it. I really really like that foundation but after that this is the Immaculate Foundation by Hourglass. This foundation kind of gives you a powdery finish on your face. It's super matte. It's actually even called the Liquid Powder Foundation. And I am in love with this foundation. Like, it is kind of full coverage. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be medium to full. But on my skin, I could definitely work it up to a full coverage. And I love it. It gives me such a smooth finish on my skin. I am wearing it today. I find that the color matches really well as well compared to a lot of my previous foundations. And it's oil-free, again, which is perfect for me because I'm super duper oily and mattifying which is another thing I love in a foundation and it just feels so silky smooth when you guys kind of play like touch it I love it it feels super comfortable on the lips easy to work easy to blend it's like a dream in a bottle that was such a cheesy line but I love this foundation next I have a product which I never thought would kind of be in my favorites list because once I purchased it and returned it because I did not like it and another time at the last Last time I purchased it, I tried it and didn't like it, but that is the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I know I'm so late to this kind of like trend with the brow wiz. You guys know how it looks. It's basically just a pen. Comes with a brush on one side and the actual product on the other. And I have fallen in love with it. I told you guys in a previous video that I found that it was too light for my brows, but I realized I was just not putting enough pressure on it while applying it because I am wearing it on my brows today and I really like it. And I find that it makes my brows actually look a little a bit more natural than the powder does which I'm starting to date because I used to like my brows to be a little dark it is definitely still dark but I probably would never go lighter than this because I do like dark brows so yeah I've been starting to actually really really love this so this is definitely gonna be another product I will repurchase a lot next I have kind of a fun product but that is this pair of sunglasses I have shown you guys this in one of my videos I wore it in one of my vlogs and I even put it on it I mean I even had it on for one of my Instagram pictures but 
I love these sunglasses. They're like super fun. I know people might think it's like kind of crazy because they're like cat eyes, but I love it. And I love how you can like totally see a reflection here. So you can see my camera and everything. Maybe you can even see the mess up my bed. I'm not sure. But I like love these glasses. They're super cute. So I actually have started to really collect sunglasses because I've become obsessed. So if you guys want to kind of see a sunglass video collection or lookbook or something like that, I could definitely do them. And all my sunglasses are super affordable too. I literally have no brand name ones. So if you guys want to see that, I would love to make it for you guys. So just let me know. Next we have a highlighter, which I have started to love again. I'm going to say that about all these products, obviously because it's in my favorites. But that is this NARS highlighter in the shade Jubilation. Basically, it's kind of this peachy shade and this gold shade. I love both of them on my skin tone. I find that they both work really, really well. I find that they also aren't like that super glowy highlight like the Becca one I am wearing right now, the Champagne Pop. But it gives you a really nice subtle highlight, at least on my skin tone, which I absolutely love. And I love gold highlighters. So yeah, I've been really, really liking this surprisingly because I've swatched them before, but I wasn't like the biggest fan. But when I actually try it, I really, really liked it. Next Next we have another product which I really did not think would be in my favorites video because when I first purchased it, I was kind of iffy about it but that is the Tarte Lip Paint and this shade is called Frenemy I believe. It's just like a deep burgundy shade and the reason I wasn't kind of like into it right away is because when I applied it, I found out they didn't dry as matte as normal liquid lipsticks do such as the Colourpop one I'm wearing right now. Like this if I go kiss my hand you're not gonna be able to see any transfer on my skin whereas with this one it transfers like crazy and it doesn't dry completely matte it always goes onto my teeth really like a lot you know even if i like clean it and do the whole finger trick and all that stuff it still goes on my teeth which i didn't really like at all so i kind of stayed away from it but i wore it again and I actually do like it. I think i like the fact that it is not as drying as other liquid lipsticks i just want to classify it as a liquid lipstick because it's not as drying it's more like a paint so it makes sense that they call it a lip paint and another thing is i find that even though it does transfer the color still stays on your lip completely like it definitely stains your lip which is something that is definitely amazing about it and it has really nice colors as well i noticed i have this one and another one but yeah i this one's probably my favorite just because i like deep burgundies so yeah. Second last product I have to show you guys is this ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Lovely. I have become obsessed with this eyeshadow. I reach for it so much. It's just this really nice champagne-y shade. I thought it would look good on everyone's skin tone to be honest. It's just this super nice, like it has this really nice sheen to it and like I just love it. Like I love wearing this with just like a bold lip and something really light in the crease and stuff like that. It's just become like a super go-to shadow because I love this color. I am in love with ColourPop eyeshadows. I just wish they would last longer than a year or three years was it? A year I believe. So yeah I find that I had these for almost a year I believe and I can start to feel the difference in the consi consistency of it so I hope they don't like expire I don't know what they mean by expire I don't mean I don't know if they mean like you don't use it after a year or if they mean like the consistency would be different I don't know we have to wait and see but if any of you guys know let me know because I love these and I really don't want to throw them out because like I never even use them a lot like I do but they last forever so I love this color I just blabbered hard forever so that's it guys, those are my February favorites. I definitely have so many more favorites, but I really wanted to just kind of use a little bit now so I could use them throughout the month so I don't repeat them because I found that in my previous videos I tend to repeat favorites. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to click that thumbs up button because it would mean so, so much to me and maybe even subscribe. Saying that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.